This is a Tamron Adaptal 2 SP60-300 lens. It's a heavy beast. It weighs in at just over a kilo. The problem comes is when you want to attach a lens like this to a camera such as this Samsung NX3000 and then in turn use that combination on a tripod. It's highly likely that you're going to destroy the camera. The obvious answer is to buy a lens collar. But lenses like this Tamron, there's nowhere to fix one, even if you could find one the right size. So this is what I did. We're going to take a lens collar like this and remove this black felt. If you soak it in white spirit, it will come off easily. Along with the collar, I'm going to be using the adapter that's necessary to connect the Tamron lens to the Samsung camera. The basic idea is to fit the adapter inside the collar. I shall be using a strip of lino as a temporary spacer. Take a measurement of this space here. Cut a strip of lino to fit with about a one millimeter clearance. The lino should fit, but with a little bit of play. With the collar closed, place the lino within the collar and cut it to length. It doesn't need to be too accurate. We need to determine where the top of the adapter is once it's mounted to the camera. It's likely to be the same as the registration dot. We also need to place a mark at the top of the collar. We're now going to assemble the three parts that we have so far. Basically, we're going to put the adapter within the collar with the spacer in between, making sure, of course, that everything's pointing in the right direction and that the two uppermost points that we determined earlier are aligned. The screw on the collar needs to bite. Give the collar a good squeeze to compress the lino and the screw will tighten. Even with the screw done up very tightly, there is still likely to be a gap but that will close over time as the lino compresses. At this point, it's worth checking that everything is lined up when the adapter is mounted to the camera. While checking the alignment of the lens, also make sure that the lens release latch is unhindered. The spacer has now compressed and a final tighten will close the gap in the collar. Make a note of the measurement of the outside diameter of the collar. You will set a compass for half that diameter. I'm going to be taking a measurement using a spare adapter of the same type. If you only buy one adapter, then it's best to determine this before you assemble. There is a prominent band around the outside of the adapter. We need to find the center of this. Using the flat surface, I'm stacking various things to bring the pencil point to the center point on the prominent band. Using this measurement, I will scribe a line around the outside of our assembled collar. At a later stage when we drill holes, this will ensure that those holes pass through the center of that prominent band. I'm marking the topmost point on the line. Using the compass that we set earlier to half the outside diameter of the collar, i.e. the radius, we're going to step off some marks. should be five marks. This will determine where we drill. I'm drilling out all five holes with a four millimeter drill bit. Both the collar and the lens adapter are made from aluminium. They drill through quite easily. I'm being careful to keep the piece square to the drill bit so as not to go through at an odd angle.
Although the spacer is keeping everything firmly together, I'm being careful not to exert too much pressure, which may ruin the alignment. This is the result after drilling and cleaning. The spacer has been discarded. Now for the assembly. I'm using four millimeter nuts and bolts. The bolts are 15 millimeters long. I'm going to use washers to space the adapter evenly within the collar. During assembly, make sure that the adapter and collar are in the right position. The size of the washers that I eventually used were two small four millimeters at each hole. This assured that the adapter was spaced evenly within the collar. It can be a little tricky getting all the bolts to fit, but they will fit. Okay, let's skip through to the final result of this section. Tighten all the bolts evenly around the collar. When it's fully assembled, everything should line up nicely. I will paint the nuts on the inside of the adapter with a matte black enamel paint to avoid internal reflections. So here we are, a strong tripod mount that exerts no pressure upon the camera. I can now use this mount for all of my Tamron lenses and all of my Samsung NX cameras. Since filming this video, I have made the exact same adapter, but this time with only three screws. It's also very strong and a lot less fiddly to put together. A final thought. This adapter works fine with all of my NX cameras, with the exception of the NX1, where it snags the body. I had to take a file to the top of the adapter and remove some metal. It now fits fine. It's not made any difference to the strength of the adapter. Using the exact same method, I produce this adapter for Micro Four Thirds. It works very well and there are no issues.